I didn't want to worry you by the title of this video. I also was going for something with little sing-song effects, so the, the problem with Pulisic kind of did the job. And while we're not ringing all the alarm bells, there is a problem there, and we will address it. What isn't a problem right now for Christian Pulisic, since the restart, he is in the discussion for best player in the Premier League. Most valuable player. There's four guys you could possibly choose from. A couple guys at Manchester United, certainly. Why not Pulisic? He has continued to be marvelous. At times, can't play him. He, he is, he's hit this ground running and not only scored goals, he scored goals of the highest caliber. There's no cheapies here. These are, <laughs> I know this is sacrilegious, these are messy esque goals sometimes where guys are just leaning way off of him. They don't want to defend him because they can't. So he's scoring attractive goals. He's scoring important goals. The goal against Manchester City where he ran 60 yards and he sent Mendy back and forth two directions, which essentially gave Liverpool the title. Liverpool would have gotten the title at some point, but that was a moment. He, in addition to scoring massive goals, I would say his assists are just as big. He has happy teammates. He has guys that like to play with him. In the 1-0 victory over Norwich, he put a ball right on the head of Olivier Giroud. Easy finish. Giroud appreciates that. There was a goal for Tammy Abraham where he crossed it in and Tammy Abraham just popped it. Fords love that. You add a goal and all it requires is a little boop, no work. Come on, no, no work. Because of those things, there is no debate whether he's the best, maybe there is one, whether he's the best player in the Premier League since the restart, but there is no debate as who's the MVP of Chelsea has been. It has been Pulisic, and when he's not there, they have struggled. That's how important he is. The FA Cup, he scored the goal to give them the lead, and then he had to come out pulling his hamstring. And there within lies the problem. And I'm sure you knew that was the direction I was going. The good news, he came back out. The reports are there is a, it's a strain. Probably out a few weeks, which will wrap up his season. He won't be able to get into the Champions League. That's unfortunate, obviously, for him. He has got a record of injuries that gives you pause here about how effective of a player he can be long-term. He's a smallish player. He plays in a very physical league. Maybe he doesn't continue in uh, the Premier League. He started almost every game. And, you know, I gave Frank Lampard some shtick because he should be playing all the time. And he did. But maybe he's not that kind of player. And in the end, he pulled the hamstring. So if you go through, he hasn't had like a, a break, uh, a bone break or uh, an MCL, MCL or ACL tear. He's had muscular issues. He has torn muscles. He had the abductor muscle tear, which was the biggest injury, the one prior to him this season. A lot of, you know, smaller injuries, but they start to add up. And not having the big injury, you worry when the big injury is going to happen. And with this track record, you think it will. And I certainly pray every day by my bed that that does not happen anywhere near the year 2022. Pulisic missed his chance in his first World Cup. I'd hate for him to miss it because of something else. We have to keep tabs on him. This is a serious situation. You've got to manage him. Now, Chelsea next season, they are going to have new attacking options. Based on what I've seen from Pulisic, I think they build around him. But you have Timo Werner coming in, who I think Timo Werner is going to fall in love with Pulisic the way he plays. You have all indicators. Uh, Kai Havertz will be coming. That could lock up some minutes for Pulisic and not make him. But, you know, what do you say? You're like a 60-minute player. You come, you, you play every other day. You don't want to be that. He's 21 years old. He wants to be the guy. That's what I loved about it. He had that, that I had the tiger. He had it. We shall see. I certainly hope the best uh, with what he's able to do. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to. It was great to see him at Wembley playing that FA Cup final, but to finish that way, it's, Put a bad taste in his mouth. Hopefully, this doesn't affect the restart for him, which is pretty soon. And Frank Lampard has complained about it in September. But there you have it. So, Christian Pulisic, there is a problem, but we hope that you don't fall into the same 
areas of other injury-prone players who have seen their careers taken away from them. It isn't fair, but that's the way it goes. Nobody said football and justice were friends. Subscribe to the Soccer OG. We'll be coming in thick and fast. Look out for the Champions League preview.